Hey everyone, Sam Mackay here from Means Prize DNA. I want to show you something quite cool today. How you can download exchange rates or recent exchange rates into your Power BI models. So I found a website uh, that, uh, and I've found a web link that you can utilize and it's pretty reliable and you can uh, you can just leave it in your model and it should update in theory every every day. Um, so why don't I just get straight into it and show you, show you how to do it. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to go and query the web, okay? We need to go query the web. So I'm gonna jump in to, to do that. Always, obviously, you wanna go into the query editor. Whenever you do any query, this is where you gotta go. You gotta be in the um, in, in the query editor to review the data before you actually bring it into your model. And then I'm gonna go new source and I'm gonna go web, okay? And this is where you can place in a web URL and check out this URL. So just make sure that you can see this. It's from a website, XE. So XE is a very reliable, one of the most well-known online resources for, for currency rates. And everything's gonna be against the USD, which is as it should be, because that's how currency rates uh, are, are, are quoted in the market. And then I'm gonna go, okay. So if you wanna uh, use this one, make sure, uh, make sure you, you just uh, maybe pause the video and, and copy this one out. Um, what I'll also do is I'll try and put it in the description of this video too, so you can actually just find it there. Then I'm going to go OK, OK, and then it's going to query, it's going to query the website, and it's going to query the most recent uh, data or most recent rates that it has up on the website, and then it will give us a few options. So the navigator box comes up, and uh, we can actually, so this is this actually gives you live currency rates, but we don't actually want that. We want to go table zero. And then see the preview actually shows us uh, what, what we're going to get. So it's pretty detailed, right? So this is very usable around the entire world because you've got every type of uh, currency conversion you could possibly ever want. I mean, obviously, you're probably not going to need every single one here, but at least it gives you all of them and then you can adjust uh, based on what you need, right? And so it can, now I've brought it into the query editor and you'll see here that the table name obviously is not appropriate so i'm going to go currency rates and then i think probably the best thing you'd want to do here is probably filter you want to filter by the ones that you want and the great thing is is that power bi will remember this right so power bi will uh that the the query editor will remember what filters you put in place so for example what i might do is i'll just come here and i'll filter out all the ones I don't want. Well, I want, um, let's go find the majors. So I'll find some, what have we got? We've got Euro, uh, I'll use, I'll find the pound as well. Can I click that? Yep, find the pound. Probably want the Aussie too. And then I'll find the, the, the Kiwi dollar, just as that's the most relevant to me. And then now I have a um, you know a much more compact table, right? Now the interesting thing to note is that uh, this filtered rows, right? This is always going to be remembered, so it will remember that we've always filtered Aussie, or remember we've always filtered uh, Euro, the pound, the Kiwi, the Kiwi dollar, and. Uh, but it will always go and hit this original source first. So if you didn't want to adjust this, then you would then want to come in here and make some changes. Obviously, you've got um, the ability to make changes in a number of different ways, but that's just one thing to um, keep in mind. Now, you think about it, this is just going to update every day. So that query, or sorry, it's not going to update every day. It's going to update when you go and refresh the query. So it's going to always go and get the most recent data. You'll, you'll see here that there's actually no time frame on this, right? So there's no date. So basically, it's just going to go and um, go and look at the table as of any, t any day. So if it's updated on the website, it's going to be updated in your model if you go and refresh it. And then we can use these. We can use these in our um, in our um, in our model. So we would obviously need to make sure that we actually model this correctly. We actually build the right relationships. Obviously, we want to probably make this will be a lookup table, and we want to actually connect it to our transaction table. That might be in a, ver a variety of different currencies. But then we can obviously uh, integrate this information. We can integrate these details into our calculations, uh, and uh, and and um, get the uh, you know whatever home currency we have or or we might want to revalue it back to USD or, or Aussie dollars or, or whatever. You know, this gives us the ability to, to do that without any manual intervention. We can actually just query, query a, a website. So 
What I will do is uh, I'll also in the description leave some links below. I have covered um, how to actually model currency data um, quite extensively in a couple of videos. And so um, certainly you, you might want to review that. But I think this is just a, a good video on how you actually just get the exchange rate data uh, and not have to manually upload it. Um, because I know that that can be a little bit frustrating. You might just you just, you just want to be able to walk in and on any day and see what the live uh, what the live rates are. Now also you probably are thinking, well how do I get historical? Historical rates, right? Because that's also relevant for information, like so especially, especially around financial reporting, um, just you know, financial analysis in general. You probably actually want some historical rates, and also for um, prediction, you might want to um, be able to predict what rates might be in the future um, based on long term trends, etc. Um, so that certainly is for another video, uh, and I think there's a couple of ways that you can probably do it. Uh, one would be trying to find a website. Um, I haven't, to, uh, I haven't truly found a, a, a found a reliable one uh, myself, but I certainly will keep searching. There are many other ways though. There's some good Excel uh, models out there which enable you to automatically query data, uh, and then you could then obviously bring in um, bring in the currencies from there. Uh, I think that's a pretty good solution, something I might look at um, doing a tutorial on in the future. But this is just to give you uh, a idea of, um, of how you query for live data, and the key web link is this one here, the one I've got highlighted. This is what you want to be using um, to be able to um, query that website. X is, very, I think, very, a very, very reliable source here. Okay, hopefully you enjoyed this one um, and can implement some of these techniques if this is what you need. All the very best. If you like the content, throw the video a like. Always appreciate it. Um, certainly helps a lot uh, in terms of building the, the, the channel So so and, and uh, Enterprise DNA TV. So really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV. Uh, lots of Power BI content coming out and really want uh, you to get that as soon as it comes out. So all the very best and good luck with it.